okay? I don't know if I should do this, Mom. What if people make fun of me? Stop. Stop. You've always wanted to do yoga, and now you're finally here. Don't look back. You're right. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you in 45. You got this! Watch it! I am so sorry. What are you doing with my mat? Oh, I didn't know it was yours. My bad. Oh, today's my first day. I'm Jasmine. Nice to- Wait, don't tell me that you're here to take my class. Uh, yeah, I am. <sighs> you're joking, right? I mean, I've just- I've never seen anyone do yoga who's your size before. Oh. Well, there's a first time for everything, right? I want to be a yoga instructor one day. You, you see? What? Really, you want to be a yoga instructor? I think you should focus on losing a few pounds first. But hey, what do I know? I'm only the head instructor for the most popular yoga studio in town. Welcome, yogis. I'm Emma, your instructor. I see some new faces. And sizes in here. <clears throat> All right, let's get started with our sun salutation. Everyone step to the top of their mats. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. And swan dive it out into your downward facing dog. And hold here for a few seconds. Breathe. Oops. This is harder than it looks. Well, judging by how much you weigh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> All right, continue to hold. Exhale. And you can slowly start. <sighs> I can't hold it. You know, if you can't even hold it for 30 seconds, then you really shouldn't be in my class. I'm sorry. I'll try to do better. Can you at least go to the back of the class? I can't see anyone behind you. You're blocking my entire view. Um, sure. Okay. Take a deep breath here and step into your forward hold. Exhale and roll up. Namaste. 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 All right, you guys, that was a great class. I'll see you all next week. Hey, you. Hang back a moment, will you? Uh, sure. Is everything okay? I take it after today, you won't be coming back. Oh, well, I know I'm still trying to get a hang of it, but I have to keep trying. I don't think that's a good idea. See, my classes are usually really full, and to be honest, you're a little, should I say, big distraction. Um, well, what about if I practice at home? That way I'll be better. Look, I don't know how to make this more clear. <laughs> In order to do yoga, you need to have a certain uh, body type, which you don't have. Try losing 50 or 100 pounds and then come back. But I'm trying to be a yoga instructor. That's why I'm here. <laughs> You're serious. Look, that's a cute dream, but big girls can't do yoga. <sighs> you have to be skinny. Look, this is what a yoga instructor looks like. Not you. So don't waste your time. But I, look, I have another class coming, so you better go. I'm sorry. What's wrong? Why are you crying? I never should have come here. I knew it would be a big mistake. What happened? I completely humiliated myself in there. The instructor said I'm too big to do yoga, that only Skinner girls can do it. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm gonna go talk no. to No, Mom, just... Just leave it alone. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, 
I can never be a yoga instructor. Hey, you listen to me. You can be anything you want to be, as long as you work hard for it. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Okay, but what am I supposed to do now? She said I can't come back. You don't need her. Or this class. Or anybody else. Come on, let's go home. I have an idea. The mom has a plan. When she gets home, she puts on yoga videos from YouTube and asks her daughter to practice. The daughter reluctantly agrees. The daughter continues to practice all the time. Even though she struggles with even the most basic moves in the beginning, she never gives up and keeps on trying. As time goes on, she starts to get a lot better. After weeks of practicing at home every single day, she finally starts to get the hang of it. The mom is so proud. She takes photos of her daughter practicing yoga to post them on Instagram and talks about her daughter's whole journey. Eventually, the daughter gains a big following from people that are so inspired by her story. The daughter can't believe it. And then, a few months later, the daughter even accomplishes her dream of opening her very own yoga studio. Namaste. Namaste. Great job, everyone. I'll see you next class, okay? Thank you so much. Hey. Emma, what are you doing here? I saw on Instagram that you opened a new yoga studio. <laughs> so, just thought I'd come check it out. Oh, okay. How's everything going at your place? Not so great, actually. It's, um, it's just that ever since you opened up your studio, my business has been like a little bit slow. I'm so sorry. It's actually kind of why I came here. Um, I was wondering if maybe you might be hiring. I think that I might actually have to shut down my studio. Yes, I do. What's up? You're on the cover of Yoga Magazine. You're kidding, let me see. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I'm so proud of oh. you. <laughs> Thanks for believing me, Mom. Oh. <laughs> let me see that. I can't believe they put you on the cover. I don't know anyone who's gotten that. But I don't understand. I thought after my class that you would just give up. Well, I was about to give up until someone told me that I can be anything I want to be as long as I work hard for it. I love that. So do you think it would be possible for me to work here? Yoga instructors are supposed to make people feel better about themselves, not worse. I don't think you'd be a good fit. I'm sorry. But I, I have another class coming in, but thank you for stopping by. Three. Have you gained weight? Two. She looks beautiful. One. You look like a whale. Oh my. I don't want to do this anymore.